Welcome back everyone to another edition of 60 plus seconds. The scary as hell bull shark. They're everywhere you wouldn't expect them to be. Known as the Carcharinus leucus in the scientific community, it has a stocky figure and a broad flat snout. This is one of 43 shark species that can live in both sea and fresh water. This video was requested by Starla for Frank Middleton. Enjoy the video, Frank. So let's learn something new, shall we? The bull shark is known as one of the top three sharks most likely to attack humans. The other two are great white sharks and tiger sharks. Of course, we know that shark attacks are extremely rare, less than 4.5 deaths by shark attacks per year globally. But nonetheless, this shark has been nicknamed the pit bull of the sea because of its extremely aggressive behavior. Most sharks have the same salt concentration in their blood as the seawater they're swimming in. This isn't the case with the bull shark though. Instead, they only have 50% of the salt concentration in their blood. This makes them very, very special as they're able to swim from salt water to fresh water very easily. The only consequence is they produce 20 times more urine when swimming in fresh water. After about 10 years, they reach maturity. Adults are normally 3.5 meters long or 11 feet long and weigh approximately 300 kilograms or 660 pounds. Typically, females are larger than males and generally live a little bit longer. Most males live for about 13 years, while females live to about 17 years of age. So where do these great beasts of the sea inhabit? Well, these special hunters are migrants. They're found in many various areas, including oceans, rivers, and even some freshwater lakes. They tend to stay in warm and moderately deep waters around 30 to 150 meters, or 150 to 500 feet deep. Scientific research shows that the bull shark favors the Atlantic, the Indian, and the Pacific Oceans. Some of their favorite rivers include the Brisbane River, the Amazon River, the Ganges River, the Barhamputra River, the Potomac River, and the Mississippi River. So be careful where you go swimming in fresh water. These aggressive beasts have been spotted several hundred miles upstream in the rivers, but typically stay within a hundred miles of the ocean, except in rare cases. Oh, and did I mention that they could be in freshwater lakes too? It's really not uncommon to see them in Lake Nicaragua and Lake Pontchartrain. Their hunting behavior is quite unique. The bull shark is known to eat almost anything from license plates to birds to people. But their preferred prey is bony fish, small sharks, turtles, birds, and some species of dolphins. These sharks are also viviparous, which means pup sharks develop in the womb of its mother, similar to humans. Typically, the pregnancy period is about one year, usually during the summer months, but sometimes in early autumn as well. Pups are about 60 centimeters or 24 inches long, and the mother gives birth to 5 to 15 pups at once. Because the bull shark lives primarily in shore areas and coastal regions, and thus often becomes victim to coastal fishing activities, they are primarily caught with long lines, but also frequently turn up as an incidental catch. Although bull sharks rank low on the list of endangered species, I'm pretty sure it must be assumed that the species will acquire the IUCN status of an endangered species in the foreseeable future. And that's mostly because of the increasing destruction of their nurseries by man. And that's a wrap for this edition of 60 Plus Seconds. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next episodes. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or video requests, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again, and have a nice day.